this is Blue Whisper. Welcome, brothers and sisters of the crab. Um, I'm going to have to put a couple bloopers up here because I keep doing this over and over again. And I, I got to stop myself because I rattle on. All right. Going to try to keep this short and sweet. Um, so today marked a milestone in our country. I'd like to congratulate all my um, friends in the gay community. Um, all 50 states now. Isn't that great? Um, to those of you that disagree, um, so <laughs> go ahead, disagree. We don't care. All right. Um, I think it's wonderful that this has happened. A lot of my friends um, have the opportunity to be happy and move on and be who they are without having to, well, they're probably still half to answer to assholes because, you know, really there is only two kinds of people in this world. Um, there's assholes and there's non-assholes. Actually, let's make that three kind of people in the world. There's assholes, there's non-assholes, and there's sometime assholes. And I think y'all know what I mean about that. There are good people who are just stupid sometimes. You know, it's not that they mean to be mean. They're learning, but if they have an open mind, there's hope for them. Unfortunately, there's still some people that they're assholes no matter what, and they don't have an open mind. And if you can get one of them to open up their mind, I have a new respect for you. I'm working on it myself. Anyway, I wanted to kind of approach that about who are we? And um, for those people that um, say, but the Bible says this and the Bible says that, for every thing that you tell me the Bible says, I can give you another verse out of the Bible that says the exact opposite. I'm not saying I don't believe in the Bible, you know, um, but I've studied it. And while I was going to church and doing the Christian bit and everything like that, I always felt incomplete and I felt like I had more questions than answers. And when I'd ask a question, I'd get somebody's opinion. And, or how it was interpreted to them. I really had to study hard. And I've, I've come to a conclusion. Um, and I'm not going to say that the Bible's wrong. It's incomplete, for one thing. I really believe that. Um, it's not only incomplete, and I'm not saying that things didn't happen in the Bible, because, you know, they could have. And when I hear somebody say, well, you know, what about Moses' part in the Red Sea? Now that didn't happen. Or the ark and that many animals to everything? Ah, that couldn't happen. Well, I've also been told there's no such thing as magic. <laughs> and I've learned. And, but anyway, getting into my opinions on the Bible is neither here nor there. I believe things from all kinds of different um, walks of life. And to say one thing didn't happen and the other one did or vice versa, you know, I need to, I need to keep an open mind on a lot of things. So that's why I do believe a lot of things. I mean, because to me it's like a record of things that happened. And we all know that spirits do talk to us sometimes, whether they're Christian spirits, that if you're a Christian, you believe it's a Christian spirit, but then you say that any, a witch that does it, they're talking to demons or whatever. I, that I don't understand because um, I, don't, I don't believe in demons for one thing right now. I, I, let's put it this way. I do believe in negative entities. You may call them demons. Maybe that's what they are. I do believe in them, but I do believe that I also have the power over them. And so, you know, I'm getting so off the subject. I'll get back to that. That sounds like another video. What I really wanted to say that, you know, when it boils down to it, there's, there's still so many people that are having a problem with you know, the gay community having their rights in all 50 states now. Um, we also missed a really good barbecue, I guess. Yeah. Somebody even, you know, I mean, it was 
a self-igniting weenie um, <laughs> with a stick up his ass. So anyway, um, I wanted to get to that. Um, that was ridiculous, by the way. Anyway, you know, to burn yourself to get people to do what you want to do is so stupid, you know. Anyway, if, if you're what you know already, that why would you do something to yourself when you can do something to them yourself? <laughs> Hello. Um, so, you know, he took care of business, okay? When I hear people like that and talking about... Um, you know, how they, they're they so disapproving of other people's lives or whatever. We're talking about love. Um, love leads to sex. And so if you confront them with it, but they're not supposed to, a man's not supposed to lay with another man. Um, or, you know, it, it, that's what it boils down to to them. Well, you know, my answer to a lot of them is if you don't think that a man should be having sex with another man and you're a man, don't have sex with another man. You know, if it's not right for you, don't do it. Quit trying to change everybody. Um, if two people find each other and they can love each other equally, no matter who they are, what they are, what color they are, where they're from, they're lucky. If you can find love, true love, I'm not talking about this love that some people call love that's not really true love, but if you can find true love no matter what your circumstance or who it's with, then you're very lucky. Um, I keep in mind that I'm a spirit having a human experience. I don't know who coined that term. I read it somewhere. I've heard it several times, but that's the truth. Even in the churches, you ask any Christian, any preacher, or whatever, what color is, is God? What color is a spirit? Well, spirits don't have a color. Well, how do you know if a spirit's a boy or a girl? Well, they don't have a gender. Oh, okay. And we're j this is this body is just our transport means of taking us around, right? So we're I, I'm confused. If we're not our body, who are we? Well, we're spirits. It's our souls. It's inside of us. Our bodies are just like, uh, you know, they contain our spirits. It's just temporary. So that's when you go to a funeral and somebody's died. Well, that's just their shell. They're not in there no more. Well, where are they? They're, they're gone. They're, they're out of their body. What do they look like? Well, they don't look like anything. They're just a spirit. Well, what's a spirit look like? Well, they're just, they're just nothing. They're just a spirit. It's invisible. They don't have sex. They don't have a sexual gender. No, no color. No. Where are they from? Everywhere from the universe. I mean, you know, from God. You know, from whatever. Um, okay. So if our spirits don't have a gender and our spirits don't have a color or whatever, what should it matter who they love? Because I guess in the spirit world, it's all same sex. <laughs> and you're having a problem with it here on earth just because of the shell that contains it. That don't make sense to me. Then I think about the female-male aspects of everything. I mean, everything has a male or female aspects. I mean, even in the world of plumbing, you've got one pipe, and you got to put it together with this other pipe. But you're going to notice this one has a little stuff on the inside, and this one has it on the outside. You put it together, and they screw. We didn't know, my goodness, they screwed it. I just realized, no pun intended. <laughs> they screwed together. Male, female. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm keeping this one. I'm not redoing this video. That was too funny. I walked right into that one on myself, didn't I? <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> with that. <laughs> okay. The male, female. I'm going to get my cucumber video out again. <laughs> Okay, with the male-female aspects of everything, I do believe in my heart that even our spirits may have a male-female aspect to it. And then, you know, on occasion, sometimes that female aspect of a spirit gets stuck in a man's body. You know, uh, <laughs> okay, you know, so that's a possibility. I'm not saying that's what happens, but that's a possibility. But really, what it boils down to is we got the shell, 
and our spirits are in it and it carries us around and we always do things we try to eat right to keep the shell looking good or we eat too much and then we look at it and go oh my god you got a big shell and uh, <laughs> or uh, we put makeup on our shell to keep it looking good and everything but you know no matter what the outside looks like if you're ugly on the inside it doesn't matter what your shell looks like because this thing's going bye byes anyway so in the spirit world we're all the same color, no color. We're all the same sex. Wow, that's something to think about. Next time you talk to a Christian that's running you down about if you know about same sex stuff or whatever, just remind them that in the next world they're gonna be gay. Ah, oh, that's a good one. You know, that was just wow, boom. I'm learning every day. Um so yeah, that's a good one. Um, and, you know, only in that world can you be who you really are. So, you know, you know, give people a break and let them be who they are. And just remember that there's, there's a few different kind of people. I look at them, there's assholes, there's non-assholes, and there's semi-assholes. You know, the people that fuck up a lot, but they're open-minded and, and you might be able to get them to think. Um, so, anyway, I've just kind of... No, I swear, I'm not on any medications. I'm not on drugs. Um, this is me. What you see is what you get. Um, I, I look at things deeply. But anyway, I would like to put this out here. And I don't know if it's in this take or one of the other 30-some takes or whatever. But, you know, if, if you're watching my video and you disagree with everything that I said and you want to put it in the comments about what your beliefs are, that's fine. But... Um, try to be nice okay if you have your Christian views and you're gonna put your Bible verses down in there um, that's fine too for every Bible verse that you can put in there um, I can find another Bible verse that will totally be the opposite of what you put in there um, the Bible is very contradicting I think that the Old Testament and the New Testament are like totally just, you know, it's like God went off his rocker and said, you know, I changed my mind. And if he did, that's his business. But, you know, if you really believe in Jesus, if you really truly believe in Jesus, then you would also believe that he told us to love one another. Um, and I think that's what it boils down to. And if you go putting something like, you know, well, love the sinner, hate the sin. Well, you know what? Maybe you need to go look at your own sins first before you start pointing fingers. Um, if somebody truly wants to change their belief systems, they will. If they're unhappy with what they're doing or how they're studying or what they're practicing, they will change. I did. Um... I know I've, I've been kind of halfway in and out of my broom closet, and I know there's a few of you that will probably find my videos eventually that know me, and um, you'll probably block me off of Facebook and banish me forever, and if that's what you believe you need to do, then that's fine, and I can accept that. But I also know that I've been happier than ever, and... Um, I'll let you know this. I'm not afraid to say it. I believe in several gods, goddesses, and I believe a little bit differently on how they're represented, but I do believe in an all-knowing almighty. And I'm not saying that Jesus didn't walk the earth. Um, he was just like me, and he taught us to be like him. And what did he do? He did miracles. He did magic. He worked with, with spit and mud to heal, okay? He did things that we do as witches and he was hung on a cross and was killed for that because they didn't like that they didn't like him doing the stuff raising people from the dead what kind of witchcraft was this is what they were thinking that's what really happened and so throughout the ages it's been happening and um you know but what would jesus do if he saw a blind man what would jesus do that's what i'm doing um I also believe in other spirits, and I'm not really going to get into that. Um, and I do believe in other gods and goddesses, as I've studied. 
Um, and every piece of the puzzle is finally fitting together for me. Um, but this is my walk and my path. Whether you agree or disagree, that's fine. You know, I'm just putting that out there before I get bombarded and blocked and everything like that. Um, because it's my walk, it's my path, and it's my relationship. Um, and that's why I don't want to even be called a Christian anymore or associate in a church with Christians because it's that's not what it's it's not about gathering together the Bible might say it, you know gathering together I'm doing that here on Facebook with people that share some of the beliefs and the open-mindedness that I have um, I, I don't believe and I really really Please stop this. If you're sending me these little things on Facebook that says, if you love God, like and share. If you don't love God, ignore this post. Don't send me those no more, okay? That's bullshit. Just don't, all right? <laughs> Please don't. Um, because my relationship with any of my deities is my business and my business alone. I can choose to share it or I can choose not to share it. I've chosen today to share a little bit of it um, and that's all I'm going to get into today baby steps baby steps I keep telling myself baby steps but anyway with that being said I am no longer a Christian I will not consider myself a Christian to me a Christian now is not what it used to be the word Christian doesn't mean the same as it did at one time for me now the word Christian I associate it with hate I associate it with um, uh, being judgmental, mental, um, yeah, mental too. I associate it with um, a, a lot of negativity in the world. Yeah, I really do. So I've chosen my path in my way, and I speak to the spirits that I feel comfortable with. Okay, I don't know why I keep having to explain myself. Why? Why is it? If there's any other witches out there that's going through this right now or has experienced this in the past about feeling like they have to explain themselves, comments. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm moving forward. I'm going forward. I want to say blessed be to everybody. If you like my video, hit subscribe. If you don't like it, I will be more offensive, I promise. So if you don't want to miss that, and I know you don't, because, you know, there's a lot of nosy people out there that don't like to miss that shit. Um, argue with me? Go ahead. I don't care. If I if I feel really offended by you, if I don't feel like screwing with it, I'm just going to delete people anyway when they act that way. Um, my channel, <laughs> my choice, right? So anyway, um, those of you out there in witchy land, hello and blessed be. Okay, take three. <laughs> Here we go again. Um, what is this? Five, six, take whatever. Anyway, <laughs> this is Blue Whisper, and welcome, my brothers and sisters of the craft. I just wanted to make a short video and a couple of them turned out way too long because you know I have a tendency to rattle on. So, um, before I make a, another blooper here, and I, I actually saved a couple of them. <laughs> so, I can't talk. And uh, I deleted a whole one because I looked at there and I, I looked at myself and I'm like, you know, you know. Oh, here I go again. I'm rattling on. Take some. Take four. <laughs> here we go. See if I can get it right this time. Okay, this is Blue Whisper, and welcome, uh, my brothers and sisters of the craft. I've been deleting these videos, and I ought to just, you know, take a little pic. Oh, fuck. 